Alex is here and welcome everyone to this studio slash paint with me video slash podcast, I guess. I am doing a voiceover on top of this footage and actually this footage is from August, so I hope you don't mind. I just realized I really want to bring you with me to the painting adventures and share a little bit behind the scenes how I create each artwork so you can see kind of everything into the detail and also I just wanted to have a chat with you so I'm kind of combining these two and I hope you will enjoy this video grab yourself a cup of tea or coffee or any drink grab a sketchbook or paper art supplies you can sketch along because yeah this is going to be kind of like a podcast type of video although in the editing part I will have shots from different angles, how I paint this illustration and yeah, so to make it more interesting and pleasing to an eye, I actually really love the zoom in shots showing how I paint little details. This is the artwork for Patreon. I'm doing monthly rewards there for Curious Foxes Deer and this is for an August reward. I wanted to do something summary and I also wanted to challenge myself and go outside of the comfort zone. And one of the things I don't paint a lot is sea or water. Yeah, I kind of did like a watery illustration. And the art materials I have used for this artwork are, of course, my lovely handmade watercolors. If you know, if you have followed me recently, you know that I'm really into watercolors right now. And this is my favorite medium. The colors I'm using for this particular uh, artwork, they are some of the sets I don't have in my main watercolor palette. So I'm using everything else I have from the collection, if that makes sense. The paper I'm using, this is Fabriano Artistico. This is hot press paper. I have been loving to use uh, Fabriano Artistico papers and also arches paper so these are my go-to's and um, for brushes I love Princeton series I love a uh, Princeton Aqua Lead number six round is my most used brush I also use Princeton Neptune which are a little bit softer <laughs> I actually wanted to include this footage for August studio vlog, which I actually never finished because I have sometimes problems with editing studio vlogs. In particular, like all the footage I had, like it was just too overwhelming. So I kind of put that aside and, and work on different projects. And that is always the case with studio vlogs. Not anything else per se but yeah with the studio vlog there's just always footage from a lot of different places and editing that footage takes me several days and yeah I'm, I'm kind of like procrastinating throughout the way as well and yeah I just wanted to share this so that's why it's here in September we have completely different Patreon rewards for this month it's actually connected with Autumn because when I came to the Latvia this early in this month, I saw so many mushrooms and I wanted to paint another scene. And hopefully I will insert the illustration up here so you can see this month's reward. And if you want to get it to your mail, uh, you can uh, join my Patreon. Yeah, speaking of Latvia, this is my slow month. I am here from 2nd of September and I will be here 
week and a half more. So it it will be one full month and uh, this is my slow working month because besides doing everything I want to do and need to do, I am also visiting my family, my friends, my relatives and just enjoying being in the nature. And that's why some of the things they just take a little bit slower to do, including filming and editing videos and also creating artworks. I have been creating artworks super, super slow this month. And I thought I would chat about this a little bit because maybe some of you can relate, especially if you were born in one place and then you move to another place. And when you visit the place you were born, you probably have more family members there and relatives. And you just want to spend time there more without like working. But at the same time, you want to and need to work. I still want to hurry a little bit and do a lot of things because I have a lot of things planned for October. Uh, it's hard to work from different places, especially if you work from home and then you move to different places. It's just like when you are in your own studio, you have everything accessible to you. You know the rhythm, you know how fast, how slow you will do. Whereas if you are somewhere abroad or in different place, it just doesn't work. Like time just, I don't know where the time is going actually, because I feel like all days are just passing by so quickly that I don't have enough time. Whereas in studio, the, the days are a little bit slower, I think. They go by a little bit slower. So I'm actually having a group exhibition. Uh, probably you have heard about it, but if not, I will repeat again. So I'm having a group exhibition with Melanie Chadwick and Natasha Newton. Both of them are illustrators, artists, and also YouTubers and my friends. So I'm just, I'm so happy and pumped that all of us three will be in one place and we got to have all the works around us and, uh, by the way, if you are in Cornwall, uh, 7th till 13th of October is a good time to come because uh, that is the time of exhibition and it will be in Coast Color Canvas, Cornwall, Roskilly Farm. I will try to film and document the gallery and how it looks and all of our works. But if you want to see it in person and if you can, feel free to come by as well. And uh, yeah, I will just link Melanie, Chadwick and Natasha Newton in case if you don't know who they are. But you definitely should check their channels out as well. And for the exhibition, I will just have six days in the UK. So I need to do everything I can here and order all the cards so they are at my door when I come to the UK. And uh, I want to make some new greetings cards, also some postcards, some prints. And yeah, I'm just so excited. And I think after the exhibition, I will sell these new designs on my store. And I also plan to sell some original artworks. I know some of you have asked about the originals. I don't sell them that often. I have some listings on my Etsy store with original art, but I plan to update it with my newer work and maybe even some watercolor illustrations. But I will do it after exhibition because I actually plan to exhibit... I think most of the artworks will be watercolors. Maybe some of them will be mixed mediums, but most of them be, will be watercolors. So yeah, after that I will sell some of them. And I think Patreons will get earlier access 
and then what will come after it I will put on my website. I have Etsy as well, but I, I'm slowly starting to move to website as well. So I have a few listings on my website and some on an Etsy page. I actually didn't close Etsy store while I'm in Latvia. Some people who travel or are on holidays, they close the shop. And because I'm here in Latvia for a month, I thought that could be also something I could do. But then I thought, uh, because I don't have a lot of orders, when I don't have shop updates, I will just leave it open and have a longer uh, delivery time. So now I think I ticked it five weeks from the day you purchase, but I will ship all of the orders in the first week of October. So thank you everyone who has ordered something because I know there are some orders and I'm just super happy and grateful for that. One more exciting thing about October is Calmtober, which is kind of like Inktober. I am hosting it and it's called Calmtober because the prompts, they are quite cozy and calm. And uh, it also happens every second day instead of every single day you need to create an artwork. I actually plan to work on a little bit looser watercolor style for these illustrations. I want to experiment a little bit more and have more limited color palette and create a set which I will be using specifically for Calmtober with more primary colors and then I'm mixing the colors myself rather than to have like these separate huge amount of bronze yellows and browns and greens and um, I also want to work on my mini watercolor sketchbook uh, if you have seen Birthday Hall, I shared that I'm having a new sketchbook, which is with watercolor paper, and I decided this will be my Calmtober sketchbook. I will do some sketching beforehand with color, and maybe I will even do monochrome, and each day will be different color. And yeah, I posted the prompt list on 1st of September, and I wanted to have all the prompts super cozy and calm, but also I noticed that original Inktober prompt list, a lot of prompts are super vague and I really wanted to have something I can like clearly imagine in my head already, something that is not like like a feeling or something, but it's like literally a thing or, or an animal or an object. And at the same time, I wanted to have all the prompts inviting and super autumnal as well, because I'm a fan of autumn. So there are prompts like hedgehog and candle and moon and cabin and picnic. So yeah, a lot of prompts to choose from. So if you are doing Camptober, let me know in the comments down below. And uh, don't forget to tag... Um, with the hashtag if you are using Instagram Calmtober so everyone can see what we are creating and yeah, I'm just super excited for it. I am in the planning stage so I still need to sketch some things. Usually before any kind of art challenge I, I try to plan some things, for example like compositions or just uh, do like idea generation. What could that be and, and just write several ideas and even though if I'm not using it in the final illustration, it helps me to think of more ideas as I go. And sometimes, even if I don't use it in my final illustration, I can always go back and use that composition for completely different artwork.
also want to chat a little bit about the bird book which I'm currently working on. So basically I was doing another art challenge, I hosted it myself, which was called Birds in Color, where I kind of did color name prompts and you can just pick a bird that has similar plumage or something like that. And I think that's the beauty with art prompts, because you don't know where they will lead you. Sometimes you can just start working on completely different projects like I did. In the beginning, I will just thought I will do these illustrations for a month and that's it. But uh, because I didn't finish all the prompts in May and after first few illustrations, I realized this could be a lovely book. And uh, since May, I have been working on this book. Some months has been super productive, some months are a little bit slower. But basically what I want to do is like create a book where there is like a spread. On one side there is illustration with that particular bird in that particular color. And on the second page there is little information about the color, little information about the bird. It's kind of like encyclopedia, it's not a fiction book, it's non-fiction. And I wanted to make not only for children, but for adults as well. And I plan to make some color palettes. You can get inspired to create your own work. And this book has taken me a lot longer than I thought it will. So when I had this challenge, I think there was... I actually don't remember. There were like 12 prompts, I think, in total or something like that. But then I realized I want to create more illustrations with birds, so I settled for 16 birds. And then when I did a few of them, I, I realized I want to make bigger book, kind of like richer with information and so on. So now I have idea to create 20 illustrations. So far I have uh, 13 illustrations, which I'm super, super happy about. I have about four illustrations which I don't particularly enjoy but I might have them as mini spot illustrations somewhere in the book and yeah this has been uh, one of the things I have been thinking about and working on although last two months has been a little bit slower because I was uh, in August I was in France and then I was doing a lot of different things like YouTube videos and Patreon posts and now I'm in Latvia and this is a little bit slower month as well. So I plan to return to this book in October, in the midst of a uh, countober. I think I will do illustrations after the exhibition. So it's a little bit not all over the place because I have a lot of things in my mind and what I want to focus on. So I think after the exhibition, I will do some more board illustrations. And honestly, I would love to have um, for Christmas store update pre-orders for the book. I'm not sure if that will happen, but maybe in the Christmas time I can just pre-order and then, I don't know, ship them out after a month or so. Because then I can see how many people are interested to this book. And I think the price will be a little bit higher than my usual zines and books because this will be, first of all, I will work for, I am working for this project a lot, lot longer and uh, it will be also a thicker book with a lot of information and hopefully useful information for you as well. For now I have idea for 20 illustrations with birds, so I need to do, I think, seven more or six more, but I might do 24. Because I think 24 is a good number and it, it, it feels like a coloring set for like pencils or, or um, watercolors. You can buy some of the sets in 24 colors. So I thought maybe that could be fitting because uh, how the book will go, it will go kind of like in a gradient. Uh, it will start from birds that are in black color, then it will go to dark gray, light gray, light blue, dark blue, dark green, light green, and it, and then yellows and oranges, reds and browns. So it will go kind of like a color palette as well. So all the birds I'm creating illustrations 
Uh, they are specifically well taught and I'm trying to find something that represents that color in nature regarding the birds. I have been taking inspiration from Nature's Palette book because uh, some of the information there, it's really useful. They have been comparing different kind of colors and shades and hues to minerals and uh, animals and plants. And this is something I am doing with the birds. I'm trying to find, for example, for Caput Mortum, that particular color in the bird. And for example, Caput Mortum is long-tailed tit because it has little violety in it. And Prussian blue, which is this dark, deep, kind of vibrant blue, it's visible on magpie and yeah I'm kind of trying to find everything there is buff titanium with a colored dove there is borders red on chaffinch and uh, if you want to see a little bit more behind the scenes I have one video on my patreon where I kind of go into depth a little bit more and it's kind of my planning stage. I also plan to make promotional video about this book where I will share a little bit more behind the scenes and how I created this book. And uh, I have a few illustrations on my Instagram page. In the beginning when I did this um, art challenge in May, I posted almost all the illustrations. But then when I realized I will do a book, I wanted to have a few illustrations not accessible or visible for everyone because I wanted to have like this surprise moment and I think some of the illustrations I will create completely no one will know what they are only if you get the, got the book you can see it in the book and yeah I'm just I'm so excited about this board book and actually the illustrations from this book will be in exhibition the upcoming exhibition I just mentioned and I will sell some of the originals as well. So yeah, I'm I'm really happy about the work I'm doing regarding the birds. I think they they are my biggest inspiration back in the UK because I I literally have a window facing the fields and kind of hedge hedgerows. I think that's how you call it. And uh, there are birds feeding from the bird feeding stations, and they are so close that I can like see really clearly the plumage they have and um, I'm trying to include all the birds I'm seeing in the UK so they're kind of UK garden birds but some of the birds are from woodland and actually a lot of the birds that I am drawing they are also in Latvia and uh, it's so funny because I I started um, paying more attention to birds while living in the UK and now when I come back to Latvia, when I see a bird, I'm I'm trying to Google what is the name. So I'm kind of translating from English to Latvian, which I actually do super rarely. Usually I need to translate something Latvian to English. Whereas with birds, I know a lot more English names than Latvian, if that makes sense. I don't know. It's, it's so strange. But yeah, that's how it is. So, but a lot of the names are really interesting sounding in Latvian. So maybe I will add mini Latvian name bird in the book so you can learn little Latvian bird names as well. I thought this could be interesting touch. And I want to have a spread where I show all the art materials I'm using for the book. I also want to show sketches of uh, how I prepared this book, kind of like in a Calmtober, I did something similar. I also want to share a little bit more about the book and why birds. It will be full with information. I want to also make some tips and tricks and maybe how to. And yeah, I, I hope this will be interesting for everyone who wishes to get it. And so far, yeah, like I'm, I'm aiming for Christmas to have it be available as a pre-order. I'm still thinking maybe I will do Kickstarter. We'll see at that moment. But yeah, this is this is how where I'm at at this moment.
I think the last thing I want to chat about is my Patreon. And I just wanted to mention a few things which are new over there. So maybe you, you don't know. And if you are curious, keep on listening. One of the new things I have is for the middle tier and up. I am doing Zoom drawing sessions, which are happening every single month, starting from August. So we already had two drawing sessions together with Patreons, and it has been really nice to hang out, have a chat and draw at the same time. I just recently bought Zoom Pro Plan, which gives me unlimited uh, amount of minutes per session. And yeah, I'm also doing recordings. So if someone is missing, I'm posting it afterwards. And I'm also posting reference pictures. And the reference pictures, most of them are taken by me. For these past two drawing sessions, all of them are taken by me. But maybe in the future, something might change. And um, there is one more thing that is super new to Patreon. And there is digital shop available. And uh, I think it, it was available like two or three weeks ago and I decided to give it a go. So if you don't want to join my Patreon but want to get the Zoom drawing session, we have it on Patreon digital shop and it's only four pounds and you get one hour of uh, sketching together. Also, I have a new tier which is called Golden Bird. This is a tutoring tier. It's one-to-one -one tutoring, two to three drawing sessions a month. And uh, we discuss your art, your progress, what you want to improve. It's really specific to, to everyone because I want to have these sessions as valuable feedback. So yeah, a lot of new things happening over there. And... Um, Thank you for being here and listening to my rambles about a lot of different things. I hope you had lovely half an hour of sketching session in your sketchbook or maybe you were cooking or anything else. If you stayed till the end, write in the comments down below, Crixis podcast. So I know you stayed till the end. And also thank you to all of my lovely Patreons who are supporting me over there. Your support means a lot to me and I can just continue doing what I do and do these amazing projects and participate in exhibition, do Calmtober, work on the board book, which will be self-published. And yeah, I'm just so excited about the future. So thank you for joining me to this adventure and uh, I will see you super soon. Bye everyone. Bye.